You're this perp back with another video and I just got done watching Wentworth season eight, episode nine. This is the penultimate episode of the season. Next week is the finale and man, have they built this season up pretty damn well. You know, I have had my critiques about this, ep this whole entire season, you know, with Lou and uh, Reb, but I think it's finally starting to pay off, you know, who knows it could just crash and burn but we have a lot to talk about so hit that like button hit that subscribe button and follow me on twitter at perp minded 420 yeah so let's get in it shall we so we get introduced to this new character sheila and i always have mixed feelings about shows that just show new characters when a show's about to end but what they're doing with her character i think is going to play a huge part with just lou and reb's whole entire story that's going to play a big part and probably open a whole can of worms but we'll get into that as dr miller is trying to help ferguson remember and i really think that we're starting to see her piece things together very slowly and things are starting to really ramp up as Anne is back as well and she wants to know who attacked her and will knowing this who pretty much told who attacked her he can't tell because that's just a part of being governor you're not supposed to tell certain things keep that in mind so she pulls up to lou to ask questions like why would you attack me and things aren't adding up and even lou tells her like do you really think that i would do this and it's it, 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 she's right you know because who's the only person that you really have a a, a vendetta against and you know it's obviously judy and we get more information on judy as she's about to get extradited so a bunch of thoughts are running through her head she's trying to act like nothing's really happening everything's all good by the way i gotta say man judy's got some she got some cheeks on her i just i, I gotta say that first first and foremost i, I i'm just saying i i seen some cakes on there she was looking good anyways as sheila is getting comfortable knowing you know the different inmates she's kind of definitely plotting something on the other side of things you got Anne really trying to press people about you know what the fuck is going on here and will is not trying to say anything so then jake pulls vera to the side saying that ferguson wants to talk to you and she agrees to it meets her in the kitchen and they confront each other and pretty much ferguson really wants to know what she has done to vera and why she hates her so much and this really triggered vera and she just went off and just said you remember when you did this and did that and you really remember start to remember how fucked up ferguson has treated her own daughter and you know i don't blame vera but like she's really blowing up the spot right now and just being really emotional she even goes to dr miller to just stop her from you know trying to get out of prison by any means necessary and i'll get into that very shortly as now we get the first you know interaction of reb and sheila and reb just looks like she saw the ghost same with sheila and we had a lot of juicy information of these two you know i think it was like a few episodes ago or like two episodes or an episode ago where you know we saw the news that there's this like blown up you know spot that made like reb kind of freak out and judy has connections to that spot and the people that you know got her all psychologically fucked up so there's definitely some cult like things going on you could tell by the way sheila kind of talks about certain things and how she's looking at different inmates how she was trying to 
save Reb and, you know, cleanse her of her gayness or something like that. Somewhere along the lines of that. I'm, I know I'm paraphrasing, but, you know, there's a lot of malicious things going on with Sheila's character. Now, going back to Anne as she tries to have one on one with Vera and Vera already kind of being emotional and and pretty much taking advantage of that and she gets Vera to tell her who was the one that gave you this information and she tells her it was Allie and I'm like fuck you just put a target on Allie's back I'll get into that very shortly so we go back to Ferguson and she sees that Reb is on the phone Reb gets off the phone which is really reckless of Reb because she should he should just be more aware of his surroundings like people watching so she decides to use the phone while rep is gone and calls this number and calls vera and vera just kind of freaks out which leads her to go to extreme measures as she and ally start to conspire on how to keep dr miller from pretty much clearing ferguson of her crimes of killing b so now ally has to pretty much come up with an idea to kind of make ferguson break and what a perfect time because while judy you know earlier on in this episode got her hands on some acid from from Mari and decides to take it and she has the worst trip possible and the only person to come step in and help is Sheila and you really get to see exactly why you know Reb does not like her also I think it's very dangerous to have her around a lot of these females I think she will be able to manipulate we will have to just wait and see but this gives ally an idea now that she's going to pretty much slip some lsd into ferguson's drink or her food and this is where morals just go out the window and i'm like damn vera like this is your mom but she's going to extreme lengths to just keep her locked up in prison for the rest of her life but the things that vera is doing is going to get her locked up because she's obviously fits in with the went with wentworth prisoners more than anybody else you know and i think that's where her story is going to end we will just have to wait and see but going back to we uh reb for a minute she has this kind of sit down with mari and mari's kind of like maybe you need to go see dr miller and kind of talk things out and she brings up her son again and you know she is really looking out for rep and but on the other side of things sheila is pressuring rep to pretty much clear her name because she thinks like she's just as innocent but she's definitely hiding some secrets we'll just have to wait and see what those secrets exactly are but we know a good amount about her character that she was with that cult-like group you know that was doing things to reb and whatnot and also lou that we find out i'll get to but we have this sit down between reb and dr miller and there's definitely some definite breakthrough you know he made this like memory map and she just started to kind of talk more about her situation and agrees to pretty much clear uh sheila's name and stuff she kind of just feels relieved at this point now back to ali and vera as they start their diabolical plan and they are pretty much watching ferguson trip off of acid and she's having a really bad 
tripping they're trying to trigger her into remembering because they think this is all just a game that she's playing and they took this shit way too far because this definitely broke her and i don't think it's going to be in a good way but thank god that jake came in and just stopped all that because you know vera's just making this worse on herself by keep on while keeping on doing this keep pressuring her now this has to be my favorite scene right here where we have lou and ann talking and ann's like you know i know who uh told on you it was Allie. so you could do what you want with that information as you please i have your back and that was epic because this means Allie might die next episode i'll get into it in my final thoughts on this episode but you know ferguson is recovering or you know she's trying to recover in the hospital will pretty much confronts linda for like striking her in the back using excessive force and tells her you know pack your stuff up you're gone and i don't think that's gonna last i think she's gonna come back we'll just have to see so as we get closer to the end of this episode lou finally confronts or runs into sheila and lou is low-key shook and sheila pretty much says like you haven't told reb the truth so lou is also hiding something from lou which is going to be interesting might get revealed next episode but there's definitely a target on Allie's back and I don't think she will make it out of the season finale and I think Ferguson is going to be coming back as the freak that's pretty much the episode how do you guys feel about this whole entire episode as a whole how do you guys feel about the season I do think that last season was better as far as the action goes but I really am enjoying like the psychological aspect of this season it's like i've been saying this this is the calm before the storm and next week should be a bloody one who's all going to make it out i know somebody's gonna die this is went where some a big character is going to die and i think it's going to be ali i think it's about time and that's going to have drawback or that's going to fall back on vera and things are going to start to blow up with vera will and jake and everything's gonna start to come to full circle i am so excited can't wait till next week but till then i will see y'all later peace